You're listening to the Leadership Blend Podcast on the Thinking Out Loud Network. Check out the Thinking Out Loud Network at thinkingoutloudnetwork.com. All right, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome to this week's edition of the Leadership Blend with your host, Ricardi Rice. And, okay, so for those that are looking, you see uh, some beautiful ladies in the studio with me on today. Uh, for those that do know and do not know, uh, I was recently at Abby Next Radio Network, uh-huh. and uh, these were my my counterparts at uh, Abby Next Radio Network. <laughs> they are funny, they are quirky, they are Degrees and Chuck T. Woo woo woo! Degrees and Chuck T. Y'all, they're, they're, hey. my, they're, my so they, they're, gonna, they're bringing the fun today, so I get to really do do me today. You know, <laughs> I wouldn't say let your hair down, <laughs> but <laughs> they can get to do me. So y'all can get to do yourselves to everybody. <laughs> I'm KB. Hey y'all. And I am CJ Ray, repping from the Bay to LA. I'm happy to be here. Yay, yay. All right, so we are gonna do our recap of the craziest, most uh outlandish stories of the year rememberable yeah the ones you just will never forget from 2019 oh, yes. yeah yeah we, 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 we're gonna we're gonna do that today so we're gonna get started so any one of y'all got something before I, before I throw mine out um so are we gonna go like biggest moments in music are we gonna do sports I'm gonna let y'all start this is the biggest <laughs> memes because I had some stuff <laughs> in my head oh, that was coming I'm, I'm so, gonna let y'all start so wherever y'all wanna start at okay go so CJ. um Okay, I want to say what to you guys though. The, what is like the biggest impact of 2019 in music? What was I don't want to say losses in music, but what what happened like a big impact? Because I have mine. I think for me it was the Cardi B and Nicki Minaj beef that just seemed to go all year to the point where Nicki Minaj retired. So it was just uh, like she I, tapped out. <laughs> I mean, look, I don't want to say that, <laughs> so but uh, like, optics would say that she, uh, that, 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 she, she tapped she out, that, that she tapped out. Yeah. She sat down. But I mean, when you have a concert and you are either late or on break, and they're chanting your rival's name, yeah, that's it, a it big may be deal. Time to do something a little different. Uh, I didn't know that part. Oh, yeah, get I married and have babies somewhere, and she would. They were uh, going Cardi. They were Cardi. chanting Cardi B. Like either she was late or on break. And they started charting can, um, Channing Cardi B. And at what that kind moment, of fans? Like, These uh, fair uh, weather fans, hold on. No, that's I, just I, I, That's like going to somebody's page to go hate on them. You paid I, money to go right. to Cardi? I mean, they, they in-person trolled her. Like, they in-person trolled her. If you really want to be honest about it, that's really what they and did. And I mean, I understand that she's late and all, but that's not cool. That's like, not cool at all. I you're supposed to be a barb. Whole, uh, Wait, barbs don't off. do that? Uh, clearly they do, because they did it. Wow. And they made no comments about it. And somebody recorded. So you see them in the office going, I Cardi go B. Look at that. Cardi B. It was somewhere overseas. It wasn't it must, wow. Was it a bad performance and they flipped? She I don't was just know if she late? was late or she that, was on break. It was one of the two. Something happened. Costume change took Something a little bit happened. longer. No matter what happens, you go, you're not going to chant my rival's name no. at my concert. No. Like, I would have came back out. Sorry. No. <laughs> I mean, look. Y'all not getting the rest of this. No. I mean, I look. I. I, I, yeah. I don't know this one. I, wow. I don't, I don't. Wow. But I think for me this year, it poses the question again. It has only space only carved out one specific space for one yes. female MC. Yes. Like we're back to that question again. Why yes. couldn't they coexist in the same space? I think it's always been like that. I think it's not even like a, a hip hop thing. Honestly, it's it goes back to R and B, right? Because they do the same thing with Brandy and Monica in the nineties. Like they put them but, against each other and it really wasn't works. even a thing it does beef sell it does yeah but then they had to collaborate though nikki and cardi never collaborated because remember Monica they did Brandy. but they weren't there together <laughs> oh, remember that's motorsport. That's motorsport. True. motorsport and then people and then, still and had it, issues with that and then she came back and redid oh, her that was yeah. they were yeah because that was a problem still well too. apparently the issue with that was because i heard cardi talk about it um somebody wasn't told the other one was coming I think yes. they asked Cardi first, and they didn't let her know, or either vice versa. They it's asked yeah. one, one of them of first, them first yeah. and yeah. they didn't tell them the other one was coming. I think it was Cardi, because that's why she made the statement. She They didn't tell her that they were adding Nikki until either that day or later on. And then somebody redid their verse. It was something crazy. I think Cardi redid hers, because yeah, I, I don't think Nikki hers. did anything yeah. to hers. Because hers was, like, was so much far off than the rest of the song. Right. So I think it was... Uh, Cardi watch your man. You yeah. should watch your mouth. I don't know. It's too much. I don't it's know. A lot. 
I don't a know. lot but of drama. I, I think that for me, that was the biggest like this moment. Year. And in then music. for her to say, because Nikki's only like, I don't even think she's thirty yet. Oh she yeah, like she's, no, no, Nikki, she's oh, late thirty. Nikki's our age. She's like seriously. Nikki's yeah. born in like eighty two. Stop yeah, playing. She's like thirty. Oh okay, well no, then I stand corrected. No, I, Cardi I is like not even thirty. Yeah. Oh, okay, well then I stand corrected. Yeah. So for Nikki to kind of and I'd be like, she's our age. Yes, how old I am. <laughs> I'm about to use the rest. I'm 40. Yes, how old I, I am. I'm 40. So he's like, like, wait a minute. Wait, he was like, I don't think she's 40. Said, I don't think she's but, uh, you know, she, she could be hilarious. an age, but I don't think she's 40. Well, you know what I mean. Yeah. Early 80s. Yeah. Ish. Yeah. Whatever. Let's, I don't want to take your show, but it's, anyway, I'm going to say for me, it was Old Town Road. That was a big it? one. It because it was like top of the charts Everywhere. for like months and months. Kids loved the song. Yeah, people were redoing the song. Yeah, and it was so stupid and simple that it works. Yeah, it I'm was here number for that. one. And then he, then Billy Ray Cyrus had to jump on it. Yeah, because country kicked him out. It was yep. too hip hop. Mm-hmm. Billy Ray Cyrus said, "No, I'm about to get this break with you." Because mm-hmm. that's all that was was a power move. Well, I thought the song, when it came out, it came out with Billy Ray Cyrus. No. no. Oh, it was really? No. Mm-hmm. It was just oh, him by that. itself. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh. And then he was on the country charts for a while. Yeah. And then they were like, wait, hot pause. Yeah, they were like, He's not oh, country. No. They, they said, Get him out. Get him out of here. This is not a country song. And then Billy some, Ray um, some things happened behind the scenes. Right. I think the wife got into his ear and was like, hey. <laughs> I get that you bag. Right. Get, should. get the bag. Jump on the band, and he's like, you know what? I, I think not, I, 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 I think I, I will too. Oh. Him and Hannah Montana. I did not know that. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> she came back. She came back. She could have She can go. Hannah Montana. Bye bye. Well, Ooh. I mean, and that's her dad, so you know she's gonna do she, something. We to get it. this bag, but they were. He was number one on the charts for a long, for a very long time. And then he, then he came out, yeah. and everybody was like, oh, yeah, again. And shout out because he is from like Lithia Springs. Then he yeah, went to, like Lithia Springs High. So he, yeah, he's from Atlanta. He's from. He's local. So it was this whole. He had a thing for months and months and months, and then he just fell off the scene. I think the the pressure was just too much. Well, he had he, a follow up, but it just didn't do. It didn't do nothing. Numbers as at well all. as but that's always Old the Town Always a concern for young that artists. That one hit one. Yeah. yeah, when you get a splash like that, cause you, you make a song and you never know what it's going to do, especially in today's time. You just don't right. know what's going to work at all. And when you have a mega monster hit like that song, it's like, how do I? How I've do you set my own that? bar too high. It was yeah. too high. I'm not going to ever repeat this success. And then when you get signed. They signed you based on based okay, off okay, of so that you can do one this. Yeah. So this is what we, yeah. we expect from you from here on Give out. Give us another yeah. old town road. <laughs> <laughs> and you can't. I, yeah, it's it's I don't know. And then you know you haven't the only time I've seen a R and B or a rap artist combined with a country artist was Nelly and um I think it was Tim McGraw when they had that song. I don't remember the name of the song. But I, that's I, why I, I don't remember head, it. Yeah. I know I what you I remember about. that song. But, but it, that was, that was okay. That, yeah, was that was okay. Wildly it was the old town road. But uh, no. to to do this. And again, you I think LL know. tried it at one time too, but that was a that just completely failed. That was a fail. Well, I mean, it's a good look for him because country music stars and just the country music in general they're very uh, tight about who they let in that they're, country. That is very, very true. tight. That's why they kicked them off. Yeah, they, they, <laughs> they not, was like, oh, not, not today, um, you not. Well, it should be the same level of uh, sacredness we have about R&B music. I totally opinion. agree. Like, but I you know like, what? We are too uh, well, forgiving and yeah, we're too as, as a people, and we're so open. Yeah. Ooh, you got soul. Right. Join us. Blue Eye Soul. We yeah. just renamed it. Because we had yeah. to take Robin Thicke card. You want Justin Timberlake. Justin Timberlake. Exactly. Vanilla Ice. Um, John B. Back. Like let's not go there. We love. Oh, we wait. love. What when somebody happened with John? B- wait, wait. He ain't do nothing wrong, no, did he? Oh, no, I'm just. Oh, no, I'm, okay, not, I'm I just like, saying. Wait, we, we I'm just saying. Happen. When we're so we accepting, good. I still like John B. <laughs> well, well John so B had an because of who signed him, because he was signed by Babyface. Yeah, so remember he came out. They True. came out together on someone to love. Absolutely. So we gave him a pat. Oh, you a baby face? You oh, you showing good, bro. your age. <laughs> You showing Look, I your no age. I am 40 and proud. Oh, you I'm showing and proud. your age. I made no calls. I guess I am too because I just did the whole song. Yeah, I said, you, you, know, you know the song, so I mean, you know the song. I'm just saying. So, I, you know, I, I applaud him for being able to pull that off. I yeah. do too, but I, then you got sick of it. But the kids loved it. I think the kids kept it going. <laughs> 
my kid, when that came on, the kids was like, it was almost like, uh, in the nine nine to the two thousand, yeah. When kids, <laughs> oh, back they lost yeah, their mind. They, lost yeah. they lost their, their mind. Minds yeah, on this. Yeah, it was I that little dumb beat. Like it, it, it's ding, ding, yeah, it's just ding, like you hear the beat. You're just ding, like, wait, ding, what is this? You're like, oh, ding. yeah, right. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's, hey. But it was just one of those. I mean, I liked it until I didn't like it. I mean, I don't listen to radio, so I didn't really have to be in. Uh, yeah, so you didn't have kids. Kids yeah, love yeah, it. I still like that. I song. still like it when it comes on. It's still, still making. It's and still like. Back. Yeah, and it's. Then the horse is. <laughs> but I, I, I don't even know the word. It wasn't my fault. I blame that on the school because the kids. the kids would listen to it in the school, and then the kids would be like, "Mommy, put it on," and I'm like. No, <laughs> and I fought it for so long, and I'm Old like, Town fine. Road. My four year old, I did, Old and Town I was Road, like, mommy. oh, Old Town Road. this ain't bad. <laughs> oh, good grief! I kind of like this I, you know, Diddy, but it reminds me of uh, Pharrell with Happy. When Happy came out, Happy went oh, every. They were playing ha- in churches. They were playing on the radio. Ever, like, happy was everywhere. Like because it made it really did it really make you made happy. Me happy. <laughs> But I hear it now. Like, I'm, I'm sitting here. Like, right. like, oh, happy. <laughs> One thing I respect, though, happy was a legit song. It seemed like Old Town Road was like a verse and a hook and a hook yeah, it, and I don't, another hook. I th- it started off uh, like a SoundCloud rap. And then it, you know, SoundCloud it people, takes over. It takes over. And then Billy Ray Cyrus. And then somebody came had to come in and, and got, write made his it verse. A bridge and gave kind of a. Because it was a non structured yeah, song. I didn't. Which segues us to this year's second well, well, KB phenomenon. didn't give us her. It's okay. Although she was, are you? She's not okay. in agreement. You know, okay. Oh, okay. Keep, keep it moving. Keep it moving. No, so. I was going to segue to the 2019 big takeaway in music. Lizzo! Why Liz- do I? Look at Lizzo. I have Old Town Road Lizzo. Seriously. Yes. Well, the only reason I thought of Lizzo is when you were talking about the way it came because I saw the interview she did with somebody and she was saying how she created, um, what's the name of the song? Uh, truth well, hurts. Yeah, how she yeah. created truth hurts, and she was oh, that's what they, it's called. Truth mm-hmm. They went in the studio, and she was saying she had just broken up with her boyfriend, and her studio guy called her and said, "Why don't you come here and write about it?" And she was like, she was in the studio, and she just kept going on and on and on, and he kept writing out everything she said. Oh. So when she was done, he had a whole song, and he was like, "The only thing we're missing is a hook." And she was like, she got in the booth and just like. Dumb, 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 <laughs> and they just kind of ran with it. And right. she was like, "That's literally how that, that song was wow, created." Oh, I, I no love idea. that whole like, process. I said, "I was like, are you serious?" She was like, "Yeah." She was like, "I said the whole thing about yeah, and he's yeah. gonna be a, 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 on the middle." White men gotta and, wait till they gotta yeah, be and, men. And she was like, "He literally had wrote everything down, and and when she was done, Structure he had a song. song. And they were only missing the hook." The funny thing is, apparently that song is two years old. That is not a yeah. Song. She oh. has been out for a minute. See, rocking that, that one Some album. Have, yeah, I yeah. was late to the party. Yeah, yeah me too. She I was party to the party. I heard her in an interview two years ago playing wow. that same exact on song. <laughs> and But she's just not <laughs> popping because it got on um, Some Netflix a, show. a Netflix yeah, really? mm-hmm. Some Netflix show played it, and, and then the it took over. So let Netflix. that be a lesson to everybody listening. Hello. It may not be your day today. But it may be your day tomorrow. Right. See, that's how music and keep used it to rolling. Work back keep in the it day. pushing. You had to work an yep. album and work an album and work an album. And then next thing you know, it's like poof. Yep. You know, then it made it like to the East Coast or to the West Coast. That's mm-hmm. literally how music used to work. Mm-hmm. But I, I guess. Well, I, that was my other day. I, was like, I remember when Nelly came out because my little, I was in South Carolina in the country, country. And I'll never forget it. My little cousin, Markeon, we were going to the club. Yes, I used to go to the club when I was in my younger days. Whoa. Oh. In my younger days, oh. yes, I used to oh. leave, oh. On, leave on Thursday, come back on Sunday. My oh. Oh. oh, oh, Coming in the hundred. Y'all heard, y'all, heard yeah. y'all heard that and didn't hear that. Yeah. Markeon got in the car, and he was like, we play the CD, play the CD. And I was like, no. And it was country grammar. Uh-huh. And we were in the country country. And I remember he put, I put it and I was like, he was like, we're going down, down. I was like, this is a this thirsty is rhyme. Get this crap out of here. What is yeah. this garbage? Woo. That was in Jimmy, like Jimmy, go, go, go. the Jimmy, 90s, Jimmy. the late 90s. And that, was that song took off. Yes. That album. It took off. Went it diamond. Simple. The diamond. It went and diamond. it was catchy. Oh, it God. went diamond. And the hook. Oh. It didn't help that he was <laughs> that really was handsome. Yeah, but, he was And then he had a girl. And then the band-aid. And oh, then, my God. But we didn't have he anybody that pop, oh, pop. Cool. We had, like, Twister or whatever. But somebody from the Midwest to actually blow. That's why what made Nelly so successful. Everybody's like, oh, this is different. This is simple. 
Very Let's different. Let's give it to him. Absolutely different. It was he was definitely he different. Was St. Louis, St. Lunatics. I still I if but see Nelly be still selling apple bottom jeans. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, I'm sure uh, it's still a market uh, out. And they are still coming out. Burlington and Ross. You Burlington and Ross. I, I have, why you? Why are you oh, playing? I'm gonna sit, I'm gonna sit I, 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 I. Oh, back God, in what? my days. <laughs> what? Back in my days. I, I, I did I try out to be an apple bottom, bottom so model. I have I've seen I your pictures. I'm not surprised. I've seen your pictures. <laughs> you like, seen her old man, pictures? Yeah, you put a picture on Facebook. I was like, who is that? <laughs> Wait. Oh, that's KB. Dude. <laughs> what? So Ooh. that's my segue into the stallion. Because you built like a stallion. Oh, oh, I think this, this shout out to track. Stallion. Shout I out to track. I think Jamaica Stallion had a breakout moment. She and her did. Knees. You know, okay. Her knees. Her knees. Her knees. Her what? Her knees. Her, ti- her titanium, titanium knees. vibranium, uh, Wakandian knees. Her knees. I don't know what are y'all. What are y'all talking her about? Her knees oh my got God. a lot of like fiber. They like. She's she, not an X Man. What are you? She's not Wolverine. What are y'all talking she, about right now? Uh, Welcome to Wakanda. Wakanda. <laughs> she got some Wakanda knees. Because she can twerk really low. Yeah. And stay down there. And stay balanced. For like about five minutes. And okay. she'll stay balanced but the whole time. But here's the problem with Meg Thee Stallion. I've seen her perform. Right. There's not much to it. Like she. Cardi B can get on stage and create a whole okay. vibe. But wait, it took Cardi to get there because Cardi wasn't always there. Cardi wasn't always a good rapper either. Cardi was on Love and Hip Hop. Cardi had a platform. So it when took, she did wasn't, hit the scene. She was being funny on Instagram. <laughs> when she hit the scene, she could go. Megan no. already hit the scene. Like Meg, I don't I don't think she Megan has enough gas to go. Scene, I think she just blew. I think she does. Now that I think she's signed to Rock Nation now. She, so yeah, I so think she's, she's gonna get the training. Her. I mean I like and her. She's I gonna just, she's I, gonna get there. It's gonna take some time, but she's gonna get there. Now, but following the celestial rule that only one female MC can rule the multiverse. But you know what? At one she time. had an I don't know what it was. No Something one beat that's with her. not com- well. They tried. Yeah, they tried. They tried. They tried. But I think and she then she put that shit to rest. Yeah, she would squashed. hop in a picture with somebody. You she cursed would say, before this I did. Oh. You cursed before I did. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Hey, hey, she didn't hey, notice hey, hey, You cursed before <laughs> I did. <laughs> you cursed before I did. Okay. Uh, <laughs> FYI. I'm sorry, you they guys. Have a different type of show. So if it slips, I'm sorry. Oh, they get a pass I'm today. Sorry. It's all good. They get a pass today because you know we all are. You I'm know, so sorry. You cursed before there, I bro. did. And I didn't even hear. Just, <laughs> and she kept going. She was like, and that's it. You didn't realize. Why that, I didn't even realize. You had it wrong, too. It was she didn't realize. I, 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 I was, I said, oh. I'm you sorry. No, I'm I just, sorry. I thought I was going to be the first one to let it rip. I'm sorry. But, oh. Back to what you were saying. I'm sorry. Right? No, because she said a bad word. What is this, kindergarten? And we can't say bad words. I didn't stop her, so you shouldn't even stop. It was fine. But I was, I thought I was gonna let it rip before. I think I'll everyone. I did too. I ain't thank like you. It. That's why I had to get it out. I was like, ha! You did. <laughs> you did it first. Okay, I'm sorry. So Megan, they try to be for Megan the Stallion, yeah. and then she work. hops in a. She'll hop on video. She'll talk to RG. She'll make a song with yes. you. Yes. Just I to let it know that it's no real. beef. She's southern. Well, She's she from Texas. She, she got the with, um, um. She called. She Facetime Nicki Minaj, mm-hmm. and they were talking. And Nick was like, "Oh my god!" Oh, they did do some. And, and now they yeah. have a song together. It right. was cute. I yeah. give, it was really really cute. I was like, "That's how you I do don't it. know." It. Yeah. But, but but I'm not gonna lie. The only reason I discovered Made the Same was because I heard um, uh, Cash, the one with Baby. Cash up. Oh, uh, Cash. Uh, the cuss word. They, they That's hope. the only I reason love the I got Meg because I, I like Baby. I'm not even front. I like Baby. Hey, hey, I know. I, yes, I you like, like Baby. Lou? I like, you like the Baby. The baby. I'm front. Every song he I like him. Like, baby be wearing I like chokers. Him. I don't know what is up with that. Why he be like he I a pimple like him. walking himself? <laughs> what is this? It's it, it, it's it's internal that. It's something you, about him. You know what it is? The rappers that I like are animated rappers. Ludacris, yeah, Snoop. They're all anim. They don't take themselves too seriously. When I saw the he don't take himself seriously. That's when I, when I saw the video for Sugar, I was like, I, I like hollered. Him. I Me hollered. Too, and I, was like, oh my. I was like, I like this dude. But everybody kept playing Sugar. I was like, who yeah. is this dude? They were in the little Instagram stories. Yeah. Everybody kept, I was like, okay, I've got to, they're driving me before. I got to hear this thing. The baby had a breakout moment too. He was he a did. breakout moment. I would say he was one. I he think did. it was more than a moment though. Like yeah. his whole album Yeah. still, like I follow uh, him on Instagram and his, his, you follow the everywhere. baby. I don't even follow the baby. I'm not gonna, What's I'm, going okay, on? I'm, I'm a groupie for the baby. I'm not oh. gonna front. I like him. I like his style. 
So I do follow him on Instagram. Guilty. Look. There is... <laughs> Look, I, I can I can be ratchet whenever I want. Y'all seen me be ratchet sometimes. We know. Y'all seen me be but ratchet. But we didn't sometimes. know. I when, when we get around, he just totally just is like himself. I do like the baby. <laughs> <laughs> I do. See, we sit up here every time. Y'all bring it out of me like this. Like, yes, 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 green tuck yes, yes. yes, this is what we come. He just let his, his proverbial his hair down, down child. Like He's like, I follow the baby. <laughs> I like the baby. What is I like him too, but I don't follow him on IG. Because you just let y'all, I used to go to the club. We're like, wait a minute. Like, <laughs> I don't know why y'all think I came out of a box like this. I'm 40 years old. I came out of a box oh, like this. But it's only when we're around you do this. <laughs> this is true. This is very true. Like, the end of the probably going to be peeking in the door like, what? And then he can swap. <laughs> like, man, he be telling us to sit up straight, put that stuff away, don't be listening to that. This nigga went to the I club. Want, yeah. <laughs> I, I, have, the, I, and I said, no. I said, no. I said, no. <laughs> buy my thing. Okay. But yeah, I um, oh my God. Yeah, that was so a moment. That, yeah. that was another moment. Now Lizzo, getting back to Lizzo, because she had an amazing year. She has had um, an amazing year. That did not come with a lot of controversy. She yeah. Well, she brought that on herself. She did that to herself. Literally. I mean, the question is, how, how much, much love is, she, is yeah. too much love? I think she went over. I, I this is my thing. It's okay to love yourself. Mm -hmm. It's okay to be a big girl that loves herself mm -hmm. and to prove people wrong mm -hmm. and then to play the flute. It's, but and it's one thing while and twerk cool. and be different. But it's another thing when it's just done over and over so and I mean, how over. Do we feel about I want my booty to hang out like Prince. You can't do That's too much. At a basketball game? That's a bit much, yeah. That's too much. The picture's on IG. I'm cool with. I'm, I'm I don't, fine I'm with. I'm cool with that. But... She took it to another level when she went to the Lakers game. I a saw that family video. Yeah. where there's kids. Yeah. And she had her whole... Did she even have drawers on? She did. Yes. She on. It was a... Mm -hmm. she, she on the but that don't even count because her mm -hmm. whole cheeks was out. out. I, I mean, couldn't even... I wouldn't even want to she sit on the chair around and without the any drawers. Oh, that's nasty. Me. Right. That's disgusting. Right. Like, why would you Everything do that? Everything you could, you could get... Ew. Ew. <laughs> Uh, but who's been she was, I'm there. sure who's she was scratching. I'm there. sure that uh, booty was itching and scratching. Uh, I'm sure that uh, booty was chapped. Uh, what I'm not about to do with y'all right now is <laughs> this, this, this I know I'm she not had to get right some now. preparation H, some cortisone or something. That's nasty. But, but right. she, this Look, is no. not the craziest thing she's uh, uh, done. She took the no, she are you? took the photo shoot with the Skittles. She was naked, had Skittles all over her. I'm that's okay fine. with that. That's What's the difference? She... At a basketball game, at a Laker game kids, with the kids, a Laker game, a national televised show. There's children like behind right. you. You're Grammys, fine. I fine. love the Grammys. Fine, that was good, good to the Grammys. Are these the fine. same kids that watch her on YouTube? But you don't look at her butt. But she's on, it's if her you whole find, you look booty. Her up enough, you'll find it. Listen, <laughs> she had her whole ass out. You the cannot do that the whole in front thing. of. A whole country. No. <laughs> at the Laker did. game. At the Laker game. She did it. She does it on YouTube all the time. But you have to go and search and find that. Right. These are people that right. you're making me watch this. Right. You're oh, putting it starting in my from face. the backstage because we got the the, the Th that's the how we found the back. Out. Yeah. And she's just before like, she walked out on the stage yeah. uh, on the court. Yes, and then she turned around and twerked on the court. Yeah. I saw the video. Uh. So I'm just saying, if we're on There's YouTube or if you're on her Instagram, I, then fine that's line. fine. Yeah. If that's what you decide to follow, if you Google her name, and then fine. But don't put it on a national televised show. Basketball There's kids game. like there are kids. My I don't want my kids looking at that. No, Your I don't want to look at that. I got a four year old who I would bring to a game. I now she's traumatized. And I got to <laughs> tell her <laughs> while wow, she's this is not normal. This we is don't not do this. exactly. We don't do this. You may see mom at home doing some stuff, but that's different. Because we at home. We at home. But we don't go to the game. Y'all do realize y'all sound like hypocrites, right? Y'all do realize y'all sound like hypocrites. I said at home. How? Because this, this, your kids are watching the same things on YouTube when Lizzo's song comes up. Because remember, whenever you pick something on YouTube, it gives you recommendations for that same artist. So whenever no. you do... Uh, Truth hurts. Maybe my 17-year-old, but she'll say my 17-year-old my, my, my like, that's disgusting. 
Yeah, my kids don't do and that. And her kids, she's I don't, got I don't smaller let, kids. I don't let them be on YouTube. No. Mm -mm, okay, well, y'all can look you. My four, most people don't no, hold have up. that. I things. do take that back. Corey uh, was listening to one of my comedy shows. I was like, what is that? <laughs> and there lies in she my popped book. up on YouTube. Now, I don't, you know, I don't have no settings. She know, she'll be like, Siri, play, you know, whatever. But one day she was listening. I heard my own voice. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that sounds familiar, and I'm not talking. <laughs> Mommy, I found you. I'm like, turn it off now. <laughs> <laughs> right, turn it off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it Mommy, point. you said shut up. <laughs> <laughs> to her, that's a bad that's word. It is a bad word. To her, shut up is a bad word. You can't say Mommy, that. Mommy, you said shut up. So I'd be like, oh my god, I'm so grown. I pay bills. No, I can do that. right. I'm at. We at home. Those are hypocritic statements. No, they're that not. You cannot make. We're Welcome to parenthood, okay? <laughs> I'm just saying. Can we change the topic? I'm trying to talk about. Mm -hmm. I don't want to talk about big booty cheeks no more. <laughs> what it? All right. So let's let's move into big headlines. Booty. Headlines. So headlines. one of the biggest headlines. From 2019, we all know. I think this one takes the cake for the whole year. Jesse Smollett, juicy, juicy Smollett. <laughs> so I, I think juicy, wins, juicy, I think juicy, juicy, year, juicy. Uh, when you stage your own beat down but, and, and but, put a noose around your neck and, and, and but but there's a there bunch have, of them. There there's, have been some some so a lot of controversy surrounding that that he might not have done that himself is there but there's still because according to who according to the him Chicago not being, PD? everything being well, dropped Chicago, well i think it was other things in play it was a whole I bunch don't think of it's stuff that he was innocent they I think tried to sue him they can't sue him they tried to i think something is up behind i don't think we will really know no yeah i don't, I don't we know. won't know because that one was crazy but you know what his name is trash yeah. he will never work again juicy smoye will never work what do you keep calling him that that's <laughs> not his name first of all that day Chappelle <laughs> said that but if you look at it j u j s s it's juicy it's juicy but that's what day Chappelle. oh good grief he said that was a french man it came, his name was Juicy Smoget. <laughs> and he came, he was walking down the street, and he said he was attacked by some racists and some mega hats in Chicago. Oh, he said, black people knew that was a lie, but I can't, I don't know what to believe. Yeah, there's so I wanted much. to believe him. And then it was like, this is too much. Yeah. And then it was like, wait a minute. White people in mega heads in Chicago in the cold. Yeah. No. Why you walking the subway? No. Yeah. Yeah. And you walk it. It was just, that's, you know, it was a bit in much. Chicago and I guess we're not where there's Uber Chicago Eats and, and like anything you could get. And now. you have money. So why are you even going why to are you why are you walking, walking the subway juicy? at two o'clock in the morning? Because it's two o'clock in the morning and he ain't nobody going to see him and notice him at two o'clock in the morning. Maybe that's what that is. I don't. But we'll, I don't think we'll ever know. We, I don't, well, we no, unless know. he write a book and we still don't believe him. <laughs> well, the problem is the repercussions. No. So this is the part oh. you forget. Like mm. it's not just about you because you're on Empire. So right. now this affects Empire. So they're in disarray because they can't. Oh, they're so right. Empire is done. They're done. Well, they got rid of. I still watch it. So they got. Is rid that of it's it's, it's on. on. This, is this is the last season. Oh yeah, that, that's what I'm saying. They had to kill it. They. Well, this it show. Wasn't, it wasn't necessarily about him. They were already approaching your. But last it has anyway. a bad taste in everybody's mouth. It's they still bring him up from time to time. Do they? Oh, do they still bring actually, him up? I was glad he got rid of his character. This character was annoying. So I was actually happy. <laughs> I was kind of happy. I was like, good. Now we got to just get rid of him. I hated like Andre. Andre was the oldest brother. I like Andre. Like Andre stepped up. Like, he, he, I like he's Andre. He's a lion for real now. Like he's, yeah. a, he's a real lion now. Oh, he I just like switched Andre. Up. Yeah, he, he'll switch. I don't again. even watch TV like that. He, I'm he, sorry. Uh, he's he's staying again on demand. So that I think that was a pretty big hit. That was a. Really I think that big was one. because just. Juicy. 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 The issue was um, he crossed so many lines. He's LGBTQ. Right. Mm -hmm. He's African American. Right. Mm -hmm. He's male. Right. He's in media. Mm -hmm. He goes across so many so worlds. So many. Yeah. That yeah. it's kind of like now these worlds have to come together and say, are we going to believe him? 
or are we not going to believe, believe him, him? Because with LGBTQ and African Americans, if we don't believe him, we're hypocrites. Right. Because we say or tell your homo- truth. Or you're homophobic. Right. Exactly. Or, so you're, like, or you're too liberal. Or you know what I'm saying? It was it was a lot though. Yeah. Like, how do you but I think everybody that? stopped believing him. I don't know if there's one person other than uh Terrence Howard. <laughs> <laughs> and Tanashi, I think, and and I, I know some they people were, that do believe they in him. Just, they know him as a person. And they just right. don't want to. Like I don't want to believe this. I mean, it, I, it's. I never so if I'm confused on something, I won't support it publicly. Like I'll speak about it like privately. Yeah. But we spoke about it on our show, but it was too questionable. It was it was a lot and it was the beginning when we talked about it. So it was like uh, a lot at one time and we're like, boy, sit down. <laughs> Chip I think was I said, like, you know, like, this doesn't make sense. You me, know. So well, but then they had the other the member the Africans though that went and bought the material. It was his, too much. His well, it might take a while because, you know, I'll transition to another headline. Chicago, we're still staying in Chicago. They finally arrested R. Kelly's ass. Uh, R. Kelly. And, um... <laughs> I spelled it. <laughs> My bad. R. Kelly was... They I, finally arrested him, but it took, like, 30 years for them to finally... Get I think right, he's an L. L. I think he's more of a big loss. Well, all right, so the headlining for R. Kelly was his sitting down with Gail King. That's what took 2019. That's a moment. With, with R. Kelly. Now, That's what took that was a moment. That was a meme. Because I did a video on that. That like, was hilarious. I had to do a video. That was hilarious. I, what did they um, say? What was the one? <laughs> Y'all killing me. <laughs> you killing me with this. Now, look. This, everybody that knows me... <laughs> Knows where I stand on this. My thing with R. Kelly is it's not fair to just take R. Kelly. You gotta take everybody they were, else that was involved. They, they said are, they they were, were. They're they working on it. They're, they're doing Kelly. it now. They should do it at the same time. But see, that's why R. Kelly took them so long because it was everybody. Yeah. This was like a whole syndicate yeah. of people that were creating that were helping a life and, doing all this. and a lifestyle. Now yeah. they're coming to get all the yes men. They're coming to get the people who were setting it up. They come. They're getting them now. Mm-hmm. He's getting. He's in the feds with Nobel. Like he's still in jail. The first yeah, time he got bailed Appealing. out, now he's 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 still in there. But I think J- Gail King was a moment. Y'all killing me with this man. It was like, where are your tears, <laughs> bro? I, I, you don't want to know the truth. <laughs> <laughs> that was a great moment. It was that early was a great on. Moment. Early on. R. Kelly's but R. Kelly was what three months in. R. Kelly was like a. It was the sh- it was the movie or documentary. Then they came and arrested him. Mm-hmm. Then he got out. Then it was like the documentary was still going on. And then everybody was still talking. And next thing you know, they came back they arrested and got him. him again. Feds, Homeland Security, and I think New York came. It was yeah. crazy. Like, if New York come and arrest you in Chicago, you got a real problem. Homeland Security came and got dude. Yeah. Well, that's that's the thing. It's, it's that's like a when big you, L. When you get into R. Kelly, I can separate the man from the music. I can't. I, I can't. I'm sorry. I still listen to R. Kelly. They were, he just had a lot of hits. And plus, he's touched a lot of records. So we're going to mute him. Touch. You're going to have to. We touched a lot of stuff, too. Touch. Touch. 15 year olds. I hate touch. you so much right now. If you're going to mute R. Kelly, you're going to have to mute Celine Dion. Mm-hmm. You're going to have to mute. Uh, What's she doing? Because like, she had I'll Be Your Angel with R. Kelly that I had Oh, adore. well, she. You got to mute she, that I song, which her. I love. You got to mute she a lot of people. I never liked her. <laughs> well, some of us do. So you have to mute a lot of people that R. Kelly either wrote for or collaborated with. Listen, that's a lot of music to give up. No, that's a lot of music. That's a whole catalog. But you know what he I'm did? Not ready to do that. He brainwashed everybody. We were that's all. That's a strong statement. No, his music. That's first of all, statement. it's Sir. in my standard. Brainwashed. We were all fooled. Again, Fiesta, the Fiesta. man versus the music. We, he could have been inspired to write his music. You're not going to tell me that I Believe I Can Fly did not come from a good place. Now, he might not be a complete monster, but uh, you can't tell me. He is a complete monster, but that's a, a psychopath, a n- manipulator. We all a were manip- We all were tricked. We were stepping the name and the love. I, almost said, I don't think we were tricked. I just think that there was a separation forgot. between the man and the music. I, I think people really, he just, he really did touch us I with his music. I think people, that we were not ready to let go of the music and we were not ready to accept it. it was we've seen it we've, we've seen it since we the 90s knew we knew, right and, and it was okay of, 
it was okay. Let, but you know because what? Because her parents made it okay. So yeah. it was like, all right, well, if her parents says it's okay, then it must be okay. But but when them so he reminds factory, me of my G. He, <laughs> <laughs> really, really. <laughs> Really? No. I believe I can fly. That's the, really? I sang that song with my gospel choir yes. at school. I sang it at they school. Sang that at graduation. First I believe I, mean, I can fly. Look, they I, sang that at graduation. And even when I hear it now, I still believe I can fly. So that's what I'm saying. It doesn't <laughs> now, wear see, off. Now if you're doing it now, you are part of the syndicate. <laughs> <laughs> you are part of the problem now. If you still banging on Kelly. Versus music. Like, only I'm people not, in Chicago ooh, get a pass not, on that because they're like, hot dick. But I think <laughs> they are, and that was that I was in my not. biggest stand-up show. It was that they still love him. They were still, they were still yeah. rocking. I was, sh- I mean, you should. I'm sh- sorry, I was I can't, shocked. I can't separate the two. So when did okay? So when did Bill Cosby go to jail? Was it that? Was it this year or was it last year? Mm, I think it was last. I think that was last. Year. Year. Okay, well we can't talk about. I think it was the end of I'm last just, year. Okay, I can't remember. But okay, that's true mm. because R. Kelly went for l- last ish. But he was R. Kelly started in the beginning of the year. He had yeah, that surviving R. Kelly was just like the beginning that of it was all. Incredible. Yeah. So uh, to me, R. Kelly's the biggest L. The big right behind him is Juicy Small. Yes. <laughs> or the say, biggest I'm L. Miss Juicy, what's your <laughs> name? Ma'am, stop calling him Juicy Small. Okay. <laughs> we can come to you. I'm say, Miss Juicy. What's you your name? Go, <laughs> I need you to stop calling him that. Like, stop calling him. To that. make you go. Hmm, Jesus. Quit calling him that. We're <laughs> juicy smell yet. <laughs> Jesus. You have to watch it. But Dave Chappelle take out everybody. You got yeah, you does. got to be strong, yeah, thick he skin. Because he take he was going no for punches. everybody. He held no punches. But I don't know. R. Kelly's a moment in the biggest L to me. Follow a close second by the hair of his chinny chin chin <laughs> is juicy smell yet. <laughs> Actually, I think you should rearrange that order. Because R. Kelly, they've been, and they've I, can, I will allow it. I will, I will allow it. You can interchange. I say by the skin of his juicy, juicy chin. Now, here, the juicy here's the chin. thing, though. So mm. Here's the thing. Uh, and this is what I talked about a couple of weeks ago with Oprah and Russell Simmons. Because we're getting ready to see this play out again. Wow. Well, because uh, for those that don't know. Wait, I'm mm. confused. What happened? Remember? Uh, apparently, Own Network mm. is working on a documentary about Russell Simmons. Well, how you used to get high, or get high and sleep with little girls? That's not that's a no, that's I, not I a never secret. Heard that it came up. So listen, that's not a secret. Do, I mean, because Kamora was underage. Kamora was underage. That's it, but we yeah. didn't care. Uh, Kamora was like sixteen or seventeen. But she was she a may have model. been a giraffe, but she was still sixteen, was 16. seventeen. Uh, a model, you right. know, to one of the, like a supermodel. I guess. I mean, well, a there's a whole bunch of people that. But some people get up a, a if pass, that's the case. And I think it's the time too. Like we I now that can never happen because parents are so strict. Parents really? are so got they're we're our kids are cut I'm not talking about baby kids. I'm talking about like my kids are sheltered. Yeah, but your kids are not the status quo. But I don't I don't you and I think men are more hesitant with the Me Too movement after seeing R. Kelly. I think they're gonna be like, How do you? How do you for real? Let me see your ID. I I believe. Look, I used to mess with older guys, but that was a different time. Yeah, but yeah. I don't that was think in the nineties. This is the sole issue. The issue is uh, men not necessarily raping, but just but taking, advantage, taking advantage, of? advantage of women, especially in positions of power. Yeah. That's well, that's like um, Harvey Weinstein. Which I think now it's worse because these girls are willing to do anything to get to where they want. But that's be. old. That's. Come on now. The, yeah, but then they, they don't have the a problem casting you couch. They don't have a problem with setting you up to do it. You know how old the casting couch is. Because Russell Simmons pleaded, Oprah was, you know me. Why, why would you, you let them do this to me? You know what's coming out about Russell. This is about to be crazy. He used to drop acid, snort cocaine. He did everything. He Russell he Simmons did was it all. out there. Again, some people like Jay-Z. And he talks about it himself. It I think Jay-Z's another headline, too. Well, for what? Maybe. In the NFL. I think oh. I would think I he's like here's story. something that on? shook up like that was a small moment but it, it really rattled some people when Jay Z signed t- or signed up teamed up so with yeah the he NFL. partnered with the NFL and now he's doing their so halftime called. show right but also so their community outreach well, I mean, that's no <laughs> look that's no different than uh, the CEO of. Um, Papa John stepping down because they heard him use the N-word in a private meeting and now all of a sudden Shaquille O'Neal is the face of Papa John. Right. 
What's the difference? Nothing has no, changed. Nothing. Except for his position. I think but he still has some But he's still, still going to make money. He's still the president. He's, he's just not the still face. his company. He's just not going to be. He's just not the face yeah. of his own company. Yeah. I just, I, I don't. I, I don't. just think R. Kelly, I mean, Jay-Z, there's, it's too bold for me. I think that he gets too much of a pass. But it, go because on, it's Jay-Z. Jay Z could punch somebody. He could not, and he gets a pass. This I remember that Dame Dash video. Did you watch it? Yes. Because he was ranting and ranting, ranting. Jay Z has always been about the bag, about the money. He will sell you out so quickly. Yes. But I felt like it was a moment because he was in the middle of cap situation. Right. It's just like, how are you gonna come and basically cap is here? going north and you just went south and you're splitting everything because some people are like, yay, Jay-Z is going to say that day. He ain't the magic Negro. No. Well, then they feel the same way. I mean, honestly, with my personal If you don't stop about, putting everybody in the same bag. I'm, I'm just saying, if we, when it comes down to securing the bag, there's not a lot that most people won't do. That's just, that's just call it what it is. Can we talk about the individual? I'm just saying. Now, what my point was, Red, <laughs> My point is, oh, you not trying to it, say I'm at the life red, in here my point today. Is, when it comes to Kaepernick, I can't say that I understand initially what he did, but I think people forget what he's getting as a result of that. Yeah, he was blacklisted, but the dude was still getting endorsement deals and getting checks. Like Absolutely. he has gotten double right. for his trouble. Like so, let's not you know throw dirt on Jay Z because he's a little more upfront you can, with what he's you done. Can, you can't. One hand doesn't. You cannot no. wash the here's, capper minute. Go ahead, cause that. So here's the thing. You're like blowing my mind. Last year, saying. last year it was all I stand for cap, wearing cap jerseys, and I, I'm here with you and talking about people. Well, you better not do the halftime show, and you're gonna be a sellout That's if you do the halftime did. show. But then, fast forward a couple of months later, now he's he in even charge told of Dupree not to do what he's doing. Right. So now all of a sudden, and. Jermaine said this out of his mouth. Jermaine said what? this. Go ahead. Everything that she just said. Like, he, he, was, told, he did. He told Jermaine, Jermaine not to last take the deal not, that he got. Right. But he's doing it this, now he's a couple doing of months it. later. So let me Same ask year, a couple of months later. So is the issue about being able to do these things and controlling the narrative? Or is it just about not doing these things at all? Because Jay-Z apparently has done it. And now he controls the narrative as to how it plays out. Or should he just not have done it at she, all? She's like, l- l- <clears throat> I don't know. Watching it raise up. <laughs> yes, KB. Um, you can go now, KB. Go ahead. He could have just started his own. How about that? If you're a billionaire, let's, why let's, not start? Let's let's, let's let's talk about or it. Or get his own like a and, and be all in control of everything. Well, well even but the in, issue with that they're is they're never letting him the in. The issue like with that, that is never. Well, there's that, but then look at how long it would take him to build it. The NFL's been around for centuries. Okay, you know, but do that to an arena football. Take, football. You know, uh, uh, what's his name? Ice Cube's doing the big, the big three. Big three. Ice Cube started his own basketball league. It may be with third rate, like washed year. up old players, but people but pe- are still going still to the play. game. Yes, but on the level of the NBA. Well, they it's still gonna take it's some time, but they, it's not. It's also point. only two, but it's two also or three. not like a competitor either. At it's, all, it's a whole nother league. But it's hit. But who own? Ice Cube. It's Ice Cube and something. And invested. somebody else. Yeah. He said, I'm going to do it myself. And that's right. what Ice Cube did. Jay Z, so are you of crazy? Jay Z could have been started get get about five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten teams. He and already build. has his own sports agency. Right. So if he wanted to do something where it was himself and he wanted to do it and create it himself, he could have. He, could have done that. But that's a snake. How are you going to tell Jermaine Dupree not to take the, the same deal and then like four months later you competition. take Competition. Now, that's competition. That's business. But that's a snake. That's business. That's Thank a snake. You. That's that is no, business. No, you don't do. Come on. Him and J- Jermaine Dupree are supposed here. to be friends. Those boys will do something in public and go behind closed doors and be like, yeah, man, we, we going to get but this like, thing I'm going. But I'm with Dame Dash. Jay-Z always been about the back. He don't care who always. he. Always. He don't care who he got to run over. He no. run over his own best friends. Yeah. He will. It does not matter. He'll, get, he'll team up with people that are not his own right. to get the money. I just hope that it doesn't bite him in that. I do, because I don't like Jay-Z. Bite it! <laughs> At the end of the day. Because it's bite happened it. to um, uh, Bill Cosby. It's happened to um, R. Kelly. 
it's apparently gonna happen to Russell Simmons. It's like they coming for you. I still feel some kind of way about the Russell Simmons one. Like, I feel that that was a little. Dull, I don't know a little low I, because you know it's not like she Russell did Michael Simmons. Jackson too. Like Oprah she out did. here. Oh, I, she sure she, did. Don't forget about that um, oh, Michael that in Wonderland. Leaving That's Neverland or something like that. I just saw clips and couldn't watch it. My stomach was. Was that this year? That was I think this year. Yeah, but I don't Early think she's year. not as close to him as she was to Russell Simmons. Russell Simmons has done like her soul Sundays. Like, what you mean Oprah wasn't a, close to Michael I mean, Jackson? They were close, but they weren't like close, like her and Russell. Her and Russell have been doing stuff when she first got on. He was a, he was doing a lot of stuff. On she her grew station. up with Michael Jackson. We all they grew like up with Michael peers. Jackson. No, like they like peers. Like they like Jackson they're Five. Like, peers. like, like I, little I bitty Mike. They the like peers. The they like circle. peers because they were the first in many. In she their grew own up genres. watching him on yeah, TV. Yeah, we all on. grew up watching him on no, TV. No, 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 no. They're I mean, like grow age. up. Like they, they were like the same. Progress, like age wise. She about to bring out something else, and we're gonna be disgusted again. So I watched, I think, like two episodes of the. Neverland thing just so we disgusting. could talk about it. And I'm like, I can't do this. You, it was disgusting. By Wade, I, I can't. Go try it. Just go try to watch it. I mean, and it, I, you I, could I, tell I, it's a farce. Yeah. But just, I mean, the way they was. I, I can't. mean, but you, for me, I can't watch it because you get into. I feel like people have telltale signs. And the oh, people around yes. them either don't care because they're riding the train and getting the benefit. That's what all it was. Or because I feel like way Whitney Houston. All the t- we joked and laughed about it, but the people in her circle should have really been like, okay, Whitney, look. They were yes men. You gotta, you, you, we can't do this. Like, I could applaud Clyde Davis because he was like, he sat down with Whitney before they did I Look to You, and he was like, she said to him, I'm just gonna, I'm done with music, I'm gonna go sell um, oranges on the side of the freeway. And he said, no, let's try it one more time. And they did I Look to You album. And you know it it was great. It wasn't Whitney it wasn't as we know Whitney. her, but the music was still there because I didn't know my own strength got me through many a days. Now the saddest thing was when she did. I didn't know my own strength on Oprah, and she couldn't do it. And now, she that couldn't was sad. do her own. But if she had never song. performed and just let the album play out, she'd have been fine. But, but she's she a performer. To go on the road. You know she got to use that. Well, what? But I blame I her, her entourage. They should have stopped her and been like, okay. Well, I mean that's Michael they Jackson. may have. That's Prince. And that's then they might not have been artist. there. Working not, as part of the entourage anymore. You never cause know. Because you, you, you we circling, won't hear about those stories. Right. You circle and filter in the people that are going to do what you want them to do, or the people that are so close to you, they feel like they're going to lose something, or if they don't give you what they what you want, you won't be part of the in, the, inner, the inner, circle inner circle anymore. Anymore. Yeah. People have. It's sad. I mean, all of them, all the greats. Elvis. I don't. Whatever. But he died of an overdose. Right, and then um, Whitney Houston, Prince. Mm-hmm. I think his, was, and you know, and Michael. It's like all the greats; they all die of like overdoses. So, um, I this just need them to, to. We just need to do better about the people that we we do hold near and dear. Like I think so. I believe so. Riding the train. I definitely believe so. Thing. All right, so we're going to take a break, and when we come back, we're going to have reality star from Ready to Love, Mrs. Divine Blessing. So stick around. The leadership blend with your host, Ricardo D. Rice. All right, everybody, welcome back to this week's edition of the Leadership Blend with your host, Ricardo D. Rice, and my very special guest. I'm CJ Ray, the Grizz Chuck T. I'm KB. Hey, y'all. All All right, so I promised you guys when we came back, we would have a very special guest, and uh, that guest is here. So if you have been watching the reality show Ready to Love on the OWN Network, you've seen this this bombshell uh, there who actually made it to the finale. So uh, I'm going to let her introduce herself, and we're going to go from there. So tell everybody who you are. What's going on? It's Divine is in the building. All right, so tell them about your backstory. Where you come from? Who are you? What's, what's all that good stuff? So I'm originally from the DMV. That's the Washington, D.C. area. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Chocolate City, the original Chocolate City. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, I didn't so you from D.C.? Are you from D.C., D.C.? I'm from D.C., D.C. Okay. But I lived in Northern Virginia, Maryland. Went to school in Maryland, Bowie State. Okay. So, um, yeah. Southeast. Yeah. The old Southeast. The old Southeast. The old Southeast. <laughs> What's the terminology? The, the D, I'm speaking. The D, the real D. We, got a, we speak an acronym. Uh, clearly, DC, I, I, Maryland, over Virginia. Head, I, over my head. I, I knew nothing about it. All right. So let's get back into where we were. So when we left, uh, we were recapping this year's biggest headlines, biggest flops, biggest L's. Uh, and when we left, CJ Ray was prepared to give, I think, R. Kelly the big L. Are we giving R. Kelly the, the biggest L this year? I mean, it, we can go. It's a toss-up between Juicy, Juicy Smollett. I don't told you to stop calling him Juicy Smollett. <laughs> <laughs> stop calling him Juicy Smollett. And R. 
Kelly. I Jeff. think they took the biggest L's. We can y'all can flip flop them however you want. It's a toss up. Yeah, it is a toss up on that. It's I'm a there. Toss up. I'm there. Yeah. Oh yeah. my god. Okay, so in government, we're gonna shift to governmental stuff. So okay. this year marked the year that we had the most female representation between the House and Absolutely. the Senate. Absolutely. Yeah. So shouts out to all those amazing women that came to the House. Uh, Nancy Pelosi uh, is once again in the seat of power, and she's was made that no the qualms. Nancy clap this year? No. Yeah, the, I would think when she did that, that clap right the there Nancy for, clap. for Trump. <laughs> the yeah. extended arm clap. Uh-huh. Yeah, was, she was like, "Good okay. job, baby. Okay. Good job." Yeah, and she knew uh-huh. what was on the agenda, uh-huh. and that was right. She said, "We're here." Right. She shouts out to her for getting it done. That she they did manage to get him impeached. Now, yeah. for those who do not know how this works, how this works, break it down. Let, let, really quickly, mm-hmm. this, people got it confused. Mm-hmm. In order for him some to be do. impeached, oh, yeah, some people do. In order for him to be impeached, he removed, be impeached. removed, it's right. removed. No, right. he's from office immediately. Okay. But to be had removed to be in the House and the Senate, right? He's not going to be impeached in the Senate because all his homeboys are in the Senate. He has to be uh, found okay. guilty. Well, he in after the, the trial, they do a trial in the Senate. He has to be found guilty. Then they remove him from office. Which is not going to happen because all his homeboys are in the they Senate. They would have to get about a good 10 Republicans. That's not going to do it. That's is, not going to happen. It's not going to happen. So people I'm are sorry afraid. for all those people that were excited. Oh, my God, we get it. Pack your bag. He's not leaving. <laughs> I'm so glad you cleared that up yeah, because, because you, a lot of people had his bags packed on the corner. Literally. Yeah. <laughs> on Pennsylvania Literally. Avenue. Yes, they did. <laughs> Ready they for him to go. They back up yeah, Obama that's, that's, pictures. <laughs> they were like, putting hands on the People were like, oh, my God, we're getting Obama back. No. No. But at least his pictures can be hung in the White House. Because you know Trump came down there with snatching and everything. And everything. Like, Cha- no, I think okay. he changed everything. Anything Obama touched, I'm, he was like, it's I'm not it. Probably Lysol and Clorox and bleached everything he before he came in. He the White House. Shampoo the carpet. <laughs> that last good year. And if y'all don't vote, he's going to do another four. Y'all yeah, so better vote. That's, that's just vote vote right. better vote. Vote right. Like you're dependent on your life. To right. the next segue that this year had the most Democratic candidates ever with, I think, 23 or 26 candidates. Unfortunately, shout out. He's if I had a 40, 23, it, was like, tw- it was like 23, 26. Uh, if, I had a 40, if, he had if I had a 40, 40, I would pour it out to the dearly departed Kamala Harris. She dropped out officially. She I did not see yeah. her. She had and, to. Uh, I, I they were gonna get her on her record when she was. Yeah, but she um, been fighting with it all this time. I was like, why are you throwing they it all gonna, now? They like, were. She was. She was like, she added them dollars and cents up, child. Yeah. She was like, I, I'm not gonna be. Yeah. Able to do but why would you pour forty out? She couldn't get like Hennessy or something. <laughs> well, you know that. <laughs> these are for my homies. Come on, I know you know that. This is for my homies. Well, well. She you win, I get there in that. Gangsta lead. That's why we're here. On the opposite side, Cory Booker chimed back in and said he feels like since Kamala Harris is no longer running, that he should be reinstated beca- or allowed to do the next uh, debate yes. because there is no African American representation. That's, well, he, but he wasn't on the last one, though. They're allowed to, in my point. Right. So I was like, not only is that a far cry, that's a stretch, bro. You, right, not, that's you know that's not going like, to happen. Come on, no. you stretching. But, uh, he trying yeah, to make so some that, elbow room, but he wasn't even on the last one. I don't even know. To Sorry, play Corey. the race card in Sorry, this situation, no. this is why people are like y'all always saying race. This is not the time to pull a race card. No, he's too light skin anyway. He got too much stuff on his He's sensitive. It's two of y'all on this panel. You really gonna go in really and, really and, really and, really really and say that's that? That's not gonna win. Like you try to play the race card, it's just like there's a time and a place for it. This was not that was not the that wasn't gonna work. That wasn't gonna work. That's that's what we doing now. We pulling the race card. on? No. Yeah, that one wasn't gonna no. work. Sorry. Sorry. No. Well, that's no. based on merit. Like you didn't have the numbers and you didn't have the the finances no. to get back on the stage. It wasn't that has work. nothing to do with people playing politics. That's right. just numbers. Mm-hmm. And your numbers did not validate you being on the stage Th- with the rest. You of can't them. change the rules now. Exactly. Like this is one of the few times you use our love, homie. It's and not you're not gonna get Kamala's numbers if you came back. It's, it's not like they're going to move to <laughs> yeah, you they're not if going you come to back you. on stage. I, I, like, I felt like he thought that. Like, no. maybe but like maybe they come to me then I can get up there. They but it still really didn't like happen. You, well, he they, figured it was the, just, the black vote and that black, yeah. just want to see black faces. But right. you still have to be related. But I don't think Corey so split. ever made that connection with Never. the black voters. Like, I just don't think he ever did. Which, his stance on marijuana actually surprised me and it made me think about it because, you know, I've never been advocate for marijuana. I had the but best weed of my home. life on Saturday. <laughs> the what? The best weed of my life. Oh. I hate you so much right now. You just I was so high. 
I smoked it. I edibles don't work for me. I have fibromyalgia. Oh, so right, I have right, a right. reason why I can smoke. <laughs> right. Okay. And I'm I'm sick. Okay. And um one of up. my one of my other best friends was like, Are you gonna smoke with me today? It's Saturday. You, you ain't, ain't got, got I'm you sorry, with and you ain't got the job. Her. Yes, I'm yes. Not I'm not gonna drop her. She <laughs> smokes. She, she's her. a smoker. Smoker. So um, she, man, I was so high and I was happy. I <laughs> ate the whole house. <laughs> I ate the whole. I was like, is it supposed to do this to you this fast? I was yes. eating everything. I killed my Christmas uh, dinner, man. Oh my god! But that's how good. I it know was. that was the best. I Christmas was high. Dinner. I had no pain. And I felt like I could run a marathon. That's the only reason I'm giving you grace. Wow. Like, I'm because I'm sick. You, you, being, you being real You know pain. I'm being real pain. Yeah, so you being real pain. So I'm going to give you a pass. We were talking about weed. My I was, audience no, I don't talk about this kind of stuff. Okay. Like, the views know, of the CJ Ray is only the views of Degrees of Chuck T. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> there's your disclaimer. Because everybody know how my that's it. There's your disclaimer. But it's, you know, I know you being real pain. So I know that, you, that, actually, for real, for real. that actually works. All right. So we're going to segue into our guest and actually talk about... Uh, the whole reality show and, and how that that system works because that's kind of what i want the viewers to take away for those who are shows like love and hip-hop and all these other shows that made people have aspirations to get into television and they yeah. think the easier mm-hmm. route to get there is reality tv you can dispel or confirm this for us today because you've actually lived it mm-hmm. and lived it quite well because like i said mm-hmm. i actually watched the show so you did an amazing job so Thank i want you, you to tell us about the process like did you seek them out did they seek you out like tell us about how that worked they actually found me um i believe during the interview process they'll ask you know each person who Can do you, you know? recommend yeah mm-hmm. who do you know would be a good fit for this oh, um so you know quite a few people recommended me i guess because i was single single <laughs> 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 um so they approached me during my uh through my instagram Okay. Seriously? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was a casting person. Through Instagram. So how yes, did you know it was Instagram. serious? Instagram. Hmm? How did you know it was serious? Um, because they set me up with a Skype interview with someone. So how many? And then the did? email was at own TV. So. Oh, okay. well, now. yeah. Because I'm like, <laughs> if good. somebody just randomly hops into your DMs, I'm just yeah. I mean, IG. it said yeah. casting, and then it had the credentials of you know okay. everything else that they. Were did, they a follow up so. email? Like, after they reached out to you on the mm-hmm. IG, I'm about mm-hmm. to think, I should hope they did a follow-up email, because I'm like, okay, yeah. You you know, right, that's yeah. what I'm yeah. saying. Like, they I, do. Yeah. And then, you know, I heard the buzz that they were looking for people. I've seen, you know, flyers and stuff circulating, so. So the theme of Rage of Love, tell us what the theme of the show is, for those that don't watch it. Yeah, because I need to know exactly. That's a good question. So pretty much the premise of it is you have 10 men and 10 women, um, and you date with the hopes of finding love and ending up with three couples at the end. And each week, someone will get eliminated. But they threw some curveballs in there because some weeks they eliminated like two women and two men. Yeah, which yeah. Which apparently they didn't do in season one. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So in season one, pretty much the men had all of the control and okay. was choosing the women. Mm-hmm. Um, season two, the women and men had the control. Hmm. So they switched up the formula. They switched bit. it up. Mm-hmm. Okay. Did y'all know that? We knew when we got there, yeah. So we were excited about that. So, how, like, what do you think the difference was between having control for men the first season and then you both had an opportunity to kind of, like, navigate the second? Well, ju- just the fact that we had the control and we're able to get together, you know, and, and make a decision and say, okay, we're not feeling him. No one is feeling him. You know, he's taking up space. Yeah. He's using up Get oxygen. Out of here. Which y'all almost said that on air. <laughs> y'all almost <laughs> much said that on air. Pretty so much. I was like, wow, Get him out of here. Yeah. Well, the first round of uh, eliminations with the dudes, I was like, okay, we clearly know who the first two dudes that and you That's so are, fun. That's true. They, yeah. I was Usually like, bro, why are you here? That's true. Like, this, they still got like a sore thumb. That's true. Yep. I mean, do you this. feel like the, the women, the, everybody that was there, do you really feel like they were there looking for genuine love? <laughs> Um, <laughs> I mean, you can be real. Y'all already did the finale, so you you can be real. Like you know, you ne- you know, you never know. You know what I mean? I mean, of course, no one is gonna get on a dating reality show and say, "Hey, I'm here for likes and followers," you know, and and to you right, know, launch you my can, acting you career. You can tell who wants to be but the villain. You yeah, I mean, wants, everybody and falls that's the into thing. Character. That's the thing. I think that you can, you know, by by the third episode, you can kind of see you and can feel see people who's out. Be where. Right, right. So, so alliances. 
in the house? Did you see alliances created? You know, we watch shows like Big Brother, Survivor, mm-hmm. and they start creating, creating these alliances. Mm-hmm. Like, all right, like, if you corner him, you know, the three of us, we can do it. But when we get down to the final three, it'll be then it's, um, every man for then himself. Man for but himself. to get us to these final three, we're going to work together. Did you see any alliances forming in the house? Um, On either side, whether it be win- women or men. You know, I don't. You know, the men. You know that that brotherhood bond is something strong. Right. So with the men, right. I wouldn't even. Right. The, I wouldn't know, but you know, I mean, I I didn't really see that with with the women. You know, because you know, women. I see, it takes us a while. It takes say, like, us no a while strategy. to to yeah, trust see, each other. Yeah, we, you know what I mean. So. That's you know, true. if someone was to come to me and say, hey, hey sis. let's have, I'm going to say, no, no <laughs> you're, like, you're trying to set me up to get right, me right, out. Right, I'm going right, to fall right, for right, it. Right, right, So, you know, I'm sure, you know, and it could have possibly have been that going on. I just wasn't you a You didn't take, it. take part in that. Right, because I feel that, you know, the men are going to choose who they're feeling. You know what I mean? That's so, that's what that's they that's point. what they you know, are if, gonna if do. You, if, you, if the women bond together, at the end of the day, you know, it's going to, it's going to, People are going to weed themselves out right. at some point. So, you know, the women had a pretty extreme cast. Like there were some women that I looked at from day one and was like, "She trying too hard." And then there were some other women on the opposite side. I was like, "She ain't trying hard." Characters. Too hard. <laughs> she don't want to be here. Like, yeah. the, the they, women, they fall into character. Well, the first two women that they sent home, and I'm terrible with names, so I the first two women they sent home, mm-hmm. one of them she was real standoffish, and she had like this guard up. And I remember her because at the beginning, she, she stayed on the outside. She kind of watched y'all. And then after she saw they were starting to really send people home, then she's like, you know what? Let me try a little harder. <laughs> and, uh, you know, her outfit started changing. Uh-huh. Her hair swooped right. to the other side. You know, right. I was right. like, oh, right. she played for kids. And then she started getting into it with other girls. So let me, let me put those jeans on. Keep her. But she was playing. She tried. Heat. She, she yeah. tried. And then there was another um, lady. I think she was a nurse. I can't remember her name. Yep. Uh, she Aisha. Was, yeah, she came on strong. Like, she was cornering you. <laughs> I think it was Brent. She was like, look, I, I'm feeling you. And, you know, I'm Do you want to kiss right yeah, now? Yeah, you know, <laughs> and Brent was like, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm, right. I'm good. Right. Well, no, 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 aggression. No, no. Yep. It, I don't it, it, like. It one of those things. Uh-huh. What did you do reality TV again? It, you know, it depends on the format. I would not do a dating reality television show but you know possibly i would be open to doing it you know if it was a different format i would like survivor when you do survivor heck no you know what i'm skinny look, enough i don't like need this. i don't need amazed. to be leaving look. there with my ribs showing from eating, <laughs> eating but they be up there butt naked like yeah. Yeah. Them bugs. Fool you, like, you gotta hunt look, for your food long, if there's somebody that can touch up my weave you know in between <laughs> you gotta scenes, come with straight it's no, a possibility look, I'm telling you, you gonna have to these, get someone who can braid you gonna have to cornrow your own hair because it's not no, gonna be i'm telling you it's, it's chicks like the pretty chicks like this that'll put their hair in a ponytail and put all y'all to shame i'm telling you don't let divine fool you like she probably is a real survivor. No, sir. I would, I she I, I would, okay. I would, I would laugh. Laugh. She's not gonna eat crickets. I, am too good. I can right. tell you right I now. I didn't say fear good. factor. I said yeah. survivor. <laughs> survivor, but you know what? They they gotta survive. I know they win their they buckets of chicken. They They're eating okay. Dirt. They barbecuing <laughs> straight rocks. Yeah. Hey, do have you forgotten? <laughs> Look, I'm they saying barbecue you rocks. can survive a dating show. You can survive a survival. Okay. You might be right, though, because that was not, it, it wasn't easy. So for those that don't right. know, we they can have talk food. about 19 year olds on a dating show. You guys are of, of, of dating age, age, right. age like yep. 30 plus. Yeah. So we're not talking about no spring chickens out here. No offense. What? No spring chickens out here trying to find their love <laughs> going on um, dating the Popeyes true. and Red Lobster. That's this is true. not that so Wait, wait a love. minute. You can't eat food. You have to win your clothing. You have to win like fire I'm, you gotta win I'm survivor saying, you okay yeah. this is what she went through in this show these are 30 plus some okay. of them ready to have babies they ready to get married that's why i, I said like, you ready to kiss right now like corner <laughs> dudes in the corner <laughs> <laughs> what up with it what we finna do right now <laughs> i need a baby <laughs> right <laughs> like i'm ovulating in hey, two days i'm telling you don't have to <laughs> i need to have a baby so in five you, days like, this is my dude this is what it was no. So how long is the recording? If these women are talking about babies and come on, it's like, like around 10, 10, 11 10, weeks. Okay. Yeah. yeah, they remember they got confessionals. So in those confessionals, they were saying all kinds of things. Like, mm-hmm. you know, look, I'm, I'm trying to get him. Because mm-hmm. there was one dude in particular, London, that uh, came down to this one and uh, my other, I can't remember, like I said, I'm terrible with names. But she was my spirit animal in the beginning until I actually started watching Divine. And I was like, wait, I might need to put my money on somebody else. Because I'm going to snag this one. Cause, yeah, I think she might be able to snag this one. But there were a couple of... Uh, Two women on one man, and I, one man. I was kind of like, uh, yeah. yeah, there were a couple love triangles. There, there were a couple on. love triangles, mm-hmm. and I was actually surprised I and impressed. Of yeah. course, because the dynamic on them was kind of funny. Because yeah, it was 
It was. It was I can. I can see yeah. that. It, it was quite it interesting. It was quite interesting. Now on this show, we're not talking about just anybody. You guys were entrepreneurs. Some of you do real estate. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we're talking about some prominent people. Right. Yeah. People who had real life, life going on. Yeah, Absolutely. Who, who actually had done some yep. things and been some places. Yep. So I think that's what made it. Uh, more interesting to watch because I mm-hmm. think we're not watching spring chickens who ain't done nothing been no place I'm yeah. trying to, to find love church. right so what was going through your mind when they called you and said look we're going to have some over 30s trying to vibe for love on this show are you interested what was going through your mind at that moment I was like absolutely not like I'm just I'm not a com- I'm a competitive person but not when it comes to a man right trying to like you said that you yeah, said that like, you're trying I, to get I somebody's attention and I was and like I'll last probably 15 20 minutes before they boot me off you know <laughs> So I watched I watched season one and I was like, there's no way I can do this. Like there there's no way because I mean, you had you had to really humble yourself in front of these men and Mm-mm. you kinda have to present yourself like season one, you kinda had to present yourself as a pick me situation because the men had all of the, all control. the control. They were doing yeah. the, so the that's picking. The one Courtney was on. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I was just like, Yeah, no, that's that's not that's just not for me. No. No. Um, so, uh, mm. I was like, you know mm. what, let me just, let me just, tr- I'll try it out and see, you know, let me step out of my box and just try it out. Yeah. Okay. I may last 15 minutes, but you know, I gave it a shot. It's an experience. Yeah. And then when we got there, that's when we found out that the women, you know, can actually have control in the outcome as well. So. Well, me and her okay. going. <laughs> But there were you. They had a couple uh, of views on with a couple crazy. of y'all though. Like uh, in this particular season, uh, the like the bottom two, they would go to them mm-hmm. and be like, "Hey, you know, how where your head at? You know, yeah. you really want to be here." Well, you know, they would have the people that they're going to eliminate, and then the people that were in the bottom, mm-hmm. and a couple of I don't know what it was, but they liked to get reactions out of me. So there were a couple of times they wanted me to think I was in the bottom or I'm going home. Yeah, they home. had a couple of coming to Jesus moments with you, and I was Just, like, yeah, and a couple uh, of them didn't air. Oh, you know, it? a couple of them didn't air. Wow. Um, and I was just because you know I had said, look, this is it. This is you, you guys. Aren't I remember gonna play. that. He was like, I'm look, I can go home and I, I'm good. <laughs> I can go home and I'm good. I don't have to. I'm good. It's fine. I was like, yes. I'm, She's I'm, like, because I got a I job and a career she, she, waiting for me, uh, boo, she, and she, I don't she, need she, none of this. In her chair, was like, I'm. I don't need none yeah, of well this. You did a chair shift. This is about to get real. Like, <laughs> she was shifting her chair. Like, oh, that's a whole real. energy shift. When I, yeah, when you'd be like, yeah, wait, like, I can go like, right hold now. on. Yeah, she and I mean, I said that a couple of times. They didn't air. They didn't air those episodes, but you know, and that's the thing with reality television. They you can know, edit. The editing is unlike anything I've ever seen. You know, and you'd be like, um, that was two days put together. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So, um, you know, a lot of things weren't aired. So. You know what you see may not actually be how it is in you know how in it reality really happened. and how it really how it happened. happened. Mm-hmm. Right. So, is there anything that didn't air that you wish would have aired? Yeah, I mean, I had dates with um, quite a few different guys, you know, and then I had maybe three or four additional dates with London that never got aired. So, you know. Those so you you know people that are watching they're gonna make their own percep- perception off of only what they see but not right. exactly what they know or what actually happened. Right. So you know and you're watching it and you're just scratching That's your head not like what happened. <laughs> That's not how that happened at all. Right. 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 But y'all but, only see the finished product. Or so they let y'all see week by week. We um we did we saw some episodes because we taped the reunion very early. So we taped the reunion before any show ever aired. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Really? Mm-hmm. Yes. Which was which was different than what they normally do. Mm-hmm. Right. So, you know, we couldn't see the perception that social media had of us right. to be able to address. There's a lot that we weren't able to address because we couldn't watch it unfold as it was going on. Like everybody and he- else. And hear from the court of public opinion. Right. Ah, uh, yeah. You know, they'll try you and yeah. declare you innocent or guilty. That's and true. Oh, he, oh, a back. Of course. That's true. They yeah. will make her on like her, mm-hmm. you know, quickly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But so, you just really, she's, she's this, she's that. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. So we've seen enough clips to be able to, you know, get a reunion show. But then, you know, we we saw the real deal as it was That is on. very General peculiar. Yeah. yeah. For them to yeah. do that. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I guess my question is, because uh, talking about that, is there some kind of paperwork that you guys have to sign that says I can't do this, I can't do that? 
Because mm-hmm. like I said, I want people, people are thinking about doing this kind of thing, and since you've done it, mm-hmm. I just want to get these little, so is there, what is the paperwork like? Is it like a lot of stuff you have to sign that you oh, really yeah. like, think about, like, I don't know if I want to sign Oh, that. you're signing your life away, pretty much. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So is that in depth? Oh, yeah, for sure. Yes. Mm-hmm. NDAs? Everything. And you have yeah. to. Yeah. Like, for how long? So, so is it like a lifetime? Is it no, like it's a, not a lifetime. A 10 years, it, I'm it, writing you know, a book because y'all get on my nerves. You know what? It varies, and you know I, I can't say because you know I don't know. You know maybe people may have ne- renegotiated certain things, so it might vary for different people mm-hmm. or not. So you know, but for the most part, you do sign a contract, and, right? You know, and it depends too. Well, um, I know like on. Um, love and hip hop and Bravo stuff like that. It depends on you negotiate your contract because some people have a c- compete or non compete. Mm-hmm. Right. Like you can go on different mm-hmm. shows. Or mm-hmm. some people like you can't go on a show competing show for six months or whatever it is. Yeah, right. So, yeah, yeah. Right. They, they yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. All right. So what's next for Miss Divine? What, what is next? What should we be look on the lookout for? Some books. Some tell Yeah, what some books. Be on the, on the, um, you know what? I could write a hell of a book. I could seriously. Write that's why I asked about the clothes. <laughs> I'm gonna write a book. <laughs> Thanks for the that's idea. You all <laughs> that's what everybody does. <laughs> that's what everybody does. You write a book. Yeah. Yeah. Write a book <laughs> and, and talk about it. You know, um, I'm interested, and in, the crazy thing is, I've gotten so much response. I guess because I was the classy one on the show. You really were. It was between you and I, which you said your friend, Reva. Y'all yeah, were like my friend, Reva. Y'all were like the two Reva. classes to yeah. me that kind of really stood out immediately. It's like, wow. And I've had, I've actually had dozens of women come to me and say, can you mentor me? Can you start some oh, sort of that's program? Great. I mean, um, you know, the show, like, but the way she played the game, it was kind of like she wasn't aggressive, but she wasn't passive. She stayed right in the now, middle. Now, see, social media said I was too aggressive. Seriously? I, you know, I read some of that, and I'm like, were, they, were we watching the same show? It's people's perception. Right. Yeah. Well, perception. she was stern. Now, she's still Some like, people can use yeah. yeah. that. Yeah. Some yeah. people... Aggressive. No, yeah. there were... And if you're, people, if you're affectionate or you're you're attentive, then, you know, some people say, thirsty. oh, she's thirsty and right. aggressive. Right, right, right. You know, I, there was my, some I didn't throw myself on anybody. Yeah, you know, she really did. She stayed right in the middle. Like I, said, yeah, I yeah. can point to some characters on there. Was like, no, <laughs> that's thirst. <laughs> like that, that's thirst. But you doing too much. She said that exactly. She was thirsty. 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 Yeah, but I'm working on a um, podcast. It's called Sweet Tea and Collard Greens. No. Really? Oh, yeah. you're going to be That's serving like that? That's kind of like the greens I feel that. Both. Yeah. Both. I mean, yes. she's going to be cooking and serving that. it. I want to be on it. Yes. I'm down. Absolutely. Like um, and then just working on, you know, becoming more visible in terms of being able to launch a platform. I would love to speak with children dealing with cyberbullying, um, as cool. well as women mm-hmm. empowerment as well. So That's pretty dope. Yeah. All right. So we need to wrap this up. She has to do a TV show yet. So we're going to do your little dumb New Year's resolution thing. <laughs> So everybody what? has a New Year's resolution. You can you can say. So what is your New Year's resolution? I CJ? never have a New Year's resolution. I'm like y'all whack for that. I'm just gonna do better. <laughs> y'all whack. You ain't did nothing. You said you was doing that in 2005. Mm-hmm. You still ain't get that. But my New Year's what resolution you know is I'm gonna focus on my comedy more. You should. Really? I got I had too many eggs in one basket, and mm. I kind of um, let some things take more of a prominence than others. But I said to myself the other night. I said, I, I have to be on stage at least once a week. I have mm. to do my comedy. So for 2020, y'all going to see more CJ Ray on the stage. Hopefully, um, I can feature a little bit more. And But that swear is my New Year's resolution. And I never do I never do them. But that's my New Year's resolution. I'm going to be on you stage. You should. Do me, are there enough venues? You must be going out of state, too. I would get booked out of state. Right. But the thing is, I need to work my material more. But I get... Like last minute sick, or you know, like or well, I got a seven year old and a four year old, so it doesn't matter. I got a built in, you know, mama 2.0, but I'm sick a lot, so I'll have plans to go, and you know, it's in the evening, so yeah. that's when the temperature drops, and that's when I start to hurt more. So wow. that's kind of what has been working against me is my own body, mm. right? Mm. I, it, yeah, so. I, I got I got twenty minutes of material right here in this book. Woo-woo. Twenty minutes of material. I'm a future act. So. I would tell you that. Tell me a joke, but it's probably a dirty joke. Oh my uh, God! I, could, I know you. I'm and I hated that when joke. I went home to, for Thanksgiving. Oh they were like, "Tell us a joke." Tell us. Oh my God! <laughs> I mean, and it's you're like, a come on. Right. We want to so, No. So well, Eddie Murphy. A, she's not a comedy vending. Yeah. Machine. No. I wasn't. Is she like, a comedian? <laughs> is she? If Eddie Murphy walked in the room, nobody would say, "Tell me a joke." 
Oh, I'm no, I wouldn't tell a joke. I'd just be on. I would just natu I mean I'm naturally who I am. So hopefully a comedian wouldn't be like, Eddie Murphy, guess what I'm gonna tell you to do. You know, because they know <laughs> that they know that you're doing go. too much. Go. Right. Yeah. But if I can just be my natural self, people <laughs> veterans could tell, like, yo, that's somebody who's funny. Or she's not putting on or that's she's just she's comfortable in her own skin. Mm -hmm. So that I but I just want to focus on my material getting on stage and hopefully getting booked more in 2020, I claim it. Boop, boop. Okay. Boop, boop. Um, I'm getting back into music, and I Wait, am determined. What? I'm a writer. You think? I'm a writer. Hey, there, Neil writes and sings. What are you, what are you saying? She right? I'm says a writer. She's a writer. I, I sing. If you said get back into music, I thought you were like doing a music video. I was going to be like, I, I can dance. <laughs> I guess I have to know. Okay, fine. I mean, I can uh, dance. Um, we don't want that. Um, <laughs> I have rhythm. We don't believe you. You need more people. Go ahead. <laughs> okay, well, you're not going to get that. Then you carry on. Can we have the 20 year old? What? Ricardo? Oh, you don't want Were 20 year old. Ricardo? He got a bad back <laughs> now. He can't do it. Threw that back out. His knees. <laughs> oh, no, not the knees. It's don't talk knees. about people's knees, child. I'm just telling you. Um, okay, so writing. So I'm getting back into music. Um, there's a lot of stuff that I want to do with music, so. Yeah, it's just a matter of getting some good people around me to make it happen. And people to get people to support us and believe in that. Look, so, if Dolomite can teach you so anything good. else, go Dolomite for it. Should have right. taught you that that if go you're in the right it. circle, anything is possible. Yeah. Everything's possible. Shout out to Eddie Murphy. Yeah. Shout out to the great. Had me almost yeah, tears to, at the end. Like I was yeah, like, that's, that's the an greatest. inspiring story right there. Yeah. yeah, that's an inspiring story. So yeah. that was a good comeback for 2029. Yeah. Is T 2029. Damn, I put us way in the future. Right, 2020. I would say Eddie Murphy's a good one. SNL. He came back to SNL. SNL. He's gonna do some some uh, Netflix, and then he did Dolomite. Yeah, he did. He did come back strong. Mm -hmm. That's that's a good point. Got Bad me point. a Cadillac. Cadillac. <laughs> Cadillac. Okay, let me you stop. Go to, you go to really? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Miss Divine. Any stop. New Year's resolution? Yeah. You know, I don't make New Year's resolutions, but you know. I'm thinking I might want to be a 40-something-year-old rapper. <laughs> Let's go. Wait, wait, I, wait a second. Oh wait, wait a no. minute. You really need to drink water on oh that. No. This is my moment. He said, let me have my moment. He said, F your dream. Let me have my moment. He me off guard. I got bars. Like you, I got bars. You, you ready to put that on the plate? I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm all like, for real. I freestyle. I'm like, like you want to? I freestyle. You can't rap on sight. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. You know what she would be like? Not everybody is a rapper. She looks like Soleil. Soleil. I do not look like, like Soleil. You kind of do. I don't. If I can no. put side by side, mm -mm. I'm just, it's just because like I love her though. I love her back in the day. Yeah. yeah well, you she she can rap rap everybody look, look dating like. them so everybody just tell them how old they are about their music. I tell them yeah, I'm 40. Yeah. It don't bother me. I look no, cool. we don't. We, we tell our age yeah. too, but I'm just well, saying. Well, I got y'all women, so I mean, if y'all don't want to, that's cool. No, no, we do. I mean, they put my name and age in big, bold fonts, like 42 font on a screen. Oh, yeah, the bottom of y'all. Yeah, like, like 40, in veranda, 42. in yeah. veranda, Calibri, Calibri, 42 Calibri front. And I was like, did y'all really have it to do that? It went across the screen. Times New Roman. Right. Helvetica. I'm thinking. They, they, right. I'm thinking 42. of the like, the young dudes that date the in the 30s. It's that I told was I was like 37. Are they watching? Oh, yeah. I'm thinking of like the young dudes that dated in the 30s that I told was I was like 37. Are they watching? Oh, <laughs> they're, they're, like, they're, they're like, hold up. They carry the one. Whoa. Right. He said carry the right. one. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I said I was going to lie about my age. But I did. I'm not. I don't do you it. Married. Actually, both of y'all are married. Y'all don't even have to do that lying by each other. No, I just. Oh, okay. Well, maybe some of you did. It's, I mean, we don't. We but shot him a look like. Why? Shoot me a look like. Yes, I do. No, no entertainment purposes, not necessarily the husband right. purposes. Like, oh, okay, well, okay, right. right. Yeah, sense. because he, right. like people, oh, this is not a bad thing, but people don't want to be like, you're a 40 year old rapper. You know, she like, if I'm 36, you got a little bit more right. time. You I got mean, a cushion. You know, yeah. But people will play you like that. People tell me, where you been? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> and you, right. They're like, where have you been this whole time? And I'm like, for ten, if I would have started 10 years ago, I would be so dope right now. If I had 10 years' experience, yeah, I feel like I could be Tiffany Haddish if I went 10 years ago. Yeah. 
I, I really feel like I could have been up there. Even because right. the platform is different now. You have YouTube, right. Instagram. Everything. I can just shoot if I would have, if yeah. I really, yeah. the top five are competing with streaming services. Right. Oh, absolutely. So, yep, yep. Mm-hmm. It's like any man's game these days. Like it, you can game. put yourself out there, and once Literally. you catch it, that's it. That's it. You know what I'm saying? Right. Which so. I think leads me to my New Year's resolution. What is your New Year's resolution? My New Year's resolution Ricky right. is, is to make the leadership blend the spot that people come to, whether you be a politician. Whether you be a reality star, whether you be a real estate guru, anybody can be like, you know what? I got some big news I need to drop. Call Ricardo. We need to be on the leadership plan. That's yeah. no. Yeah. That's no. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's, that's a good. Like, yeah. You, the, the platform. Uh, since you don't want to wait till you're like 45. I know. I, I can't. I just try. I know. <laughs> that was a dig. I'm it's sorry. Really it was, that was real close to me. Uh, but when it's too late. To like, but like, but <laughs> as long as you look good, it's never too late. But well, there you go. So I'm good. I Woo-hoo! mean, you good. can't there, there you can't roll up with a walker Woo-hoo! and, you know, gray eyebrows talking about you want to start something new. That's like but. my worst nightmare is to have gray eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> great eyebrows and great ear hair. Oh, oh. and great nose hair. Oh, that's oh. Just, it's so disgusting. That's like a flash. That's the worst thing that ever. That is the ugliest thing ever. Oh, when you see terrible. a man's gray it. nose gray hair. Gray hair with knuckles. Oh, it's terrible. You said gray hair with knuckles. <laughs> oh, the knuckles. No, that's oh. called an ape. What is you oh, talking about? That's a monkey. He yeah, said. Like, I'm just telling you. That is very oh. gross, though. It is. You. But that's that's kind of hot when you like 70. Because, you know, those 70 year old women be like, girl, you see them grays on his knuckles. <laughs> Not on your nose hairs and coming out your ears. I've never heard that, and I'm because I've never heard that. that. I, I'm concerned. That I'm, may I'm, be I'm a new thing. I'm talking about in the nursing home. That's how they talk. Oh, okay. That's well, yeah, nurse, yeah, yeah, when you freak, freak the yeah. nursing home. I've heard a lot of stories. Yeah. About That's the, nasty. About they got worms. Get that out of my head right, right. now. Right. I'm, I'm, oh. I'm just telling you about nursing home. They got worms. <laughs> Mm. All right, everybody. So that's going to wrap up the show because we got some other things we got to do. I'm going to release these ladies. Uh, Clearly, Thank y'all you have for to come back because we need two hours, which I already knew, but I at least wanted to throw y'all You know you got to give us two hours. We uh, love so you. Let's, uh, how did it get in touch with YouTube for Degrees and Chuck T? Go ahead. Uh, we can be found everywhere. Degrees and Chuck T's, Instagram, Facebook, SoundCloud, Spotify, iHeart. YouTube, iHeart. I'm throwing that because. Stitcher. Stitcher. Yeah. Everywhere. What were you about to say? Everywhere. Everywhere. I know what you were about to say. <laughs> I want to say that I did a great job. I didn't curse today. Yes. Okay. She just so, spelled it out. All right. So for, the, for, really, really, for those that do not know, Degree and Chuck T is the complete opposite of my show. So they have Completely. pubs, alcohol. Uh, they cuss. Theirs is on Saturdays from 2 to 4 on IBNX Radio Network. Uh, so they're the complete opposite of mine. So that's why I want them on my show because I don't get to have as much fun as they do. But when I'm with them, I get to have fun. So that's why they're here today. Those of you that know my show know <laughs> mine is a little more tapered and, you know, Prim and proper, or we keep it cute. Eat prim and pepper. Cheese but and crumpets. They get to have fun, fun. So, <laughs> fun, you know, fun. Uh, y'all might have to get the final. Macaroons. <laughs> yeah, Would you like a macaroon today? They have candy for you. This yeah, is the best. They have alcohol, candy. Pinky. Yeah, I'm, I'm gummy awesome, bears. You know. Y'all got gummy bears. We they always normally do this. Gummy, they gummy bears and worms. Okay. They slided me today. Normally they have gummy bears and gummy worms. I'm but it's sorry. Okay. Y'all slided me. It's okay. I'm sorry. It's fine. So, Divine, how did they get in touch with you? Uh, the best way to get in touch with me would be Instagram, and that is Agent Brown Eyes on Instagram. Brown. Or Cash App. They, they can reach me on Cash App. <laughs> <laughs> so y'all can cash mm-hmm. her outside. Y'all can cash, cash her outside. outside. Cash. Cash. Y'all can cash her outside. Cash. I love it. All right, buddy. That uh, was a good one. For those that do not know, you can go to my website at ricecommunity.com. Remember, when I say my last name, that's Rice with a W. So ricecommunity.com, you can see who's going to be on the radio show. You can see who's going to be on the TV show. Divine is going to do the TV show today. It will air on next Sunday at 9 o'clock. Uh, so on Facebook, Ricardo Ricky Rice. LinkedIn, Ricardo D. Rice. Uh, Twitter is, I don't know. And Instagram is R.D. Rice. We will see you next Monday, same time, same place, on the Leadership Blend with your host, Ricardo D. Rice. You're listening to the Leadership Blend Podcast on the Thinking Out Loud Network. Check out the Thinking Out Loud Network at thinkingoutloudnetwork.com.